Competitors across the board have set their sights on the Land Rover Defender, yet the British icon continues to stand out. I spent a week immersed in family life with the 2024 Land Rover Defender 110. My conclusion? Overlooking this legend in favor of its rivals would be a mistake. Why? The Defender impressed me with its robust build quality, strong turbo, six powertrain, and smart design. However, its controls can be confusing, the turbo, six suffers from lag, and as with many Land Rovers, electronic glitches are more common compared to some competitors, according to certain studies. Here are the pros and cons I experienced while living with the 2024 Land Rover Defender 110. Pro. Exceptional Land Rover build quality. The Defender is assembled with such precision that it reminded me of the sturdy Mercedes-Benz S from the 90s. Aside from a Mercedes-Benz G-Class, it's hard to find a modern vehicle that feels this solid, though our editorial director contends that the Polestar 3 is on par. From the firm, wiggle-free door handles to the satisfying thunk when the doors close, nothing about this vehicle feels fragile. The buttons click with a satisfying tactile feedback that you can both feel and hear. There's even a grab handle on the dashboard to assist with getting in and out, and you can shake the entire SUV using that handle without it budging. Try that with a similar handle in the Ford Bronco, and you might tear the plastic right off the center console. No $90,000 Jeep Wrangler or Ford Bronco feels or sounds this solid, and a G-Class is over $80,000 more expensive. Con. Electronic issues persist, day and night. During my week with the Defender 110, the voice command button on the steering wheel was often unresponsive. It's supposed to control both the infotainment system's voice commands and Siri for iOS devices. When it worked, it worked well, but that was rare. About half of the week, the touch to unlock buttons on the door handles also failed to respond, forcing me to use the key fob to unlock the doors. Occasionally, the buttons would randomly start working again. This Defender was nearly new, with just over 7,000 miles on it. Unfortunately, these electronic quirks are a common part of the Land Rover experience. Pro. Defender's Turbo, 6 hits the sweet spot. The Defender offers a 296-horsepower 2.0-liter turbo, 4, which my colleagues have found to be sluggish. I've also driven a Defender with the 518-horsepower supercharged 5.0-liter V, 8, and it's a powerhouse that pulls like a dog straining at its leash. But the real sweet spot is the 3.0-liter turbo, 6 in my test vehicle, delivering 395 horsepower. It's powerful and feels underrated. The turbo, 6 is quick, sounds fantastic both at idle and when accelerating, and avoids the nasal tone found in the turbo, 6 of the Lexus GX. Con, turbo lag and high fuel consumption. With EPA ratings of 17 miles per gallon city, 20 highway, and 18 combined, the turbo, 6 isn't exactly fuel efficient. Over roughly 270 miles of mixed suburban driving, the Defender averaged 16.4 miles per gallon. While that's not great, it's still better than the V8's consumption. An electric powertrain would be ideal for this vehicle, Land Rover. The turbo, 6 has noticeable lag, and power only kicks in around 2,200 RPM, like a shot of adrenaline. Turbo, Six engines from BMW or Mercedes-Benz deliver smoother performance, and even the new Hurricane Turbo, six in the Jeep Wagoneer has a more refined power delivery. Pro. Functional design with real controls. Slide into the Defender's driver's seat, and you'll appreciate the physical buttons and knobs for essential climate and audio controls. The upright greenhouse with tall windows and thin A-pillars provides excellent forward visibility, while the spare tire mounted on the tailgate obstructs rear visibility, my test vehicle had a $570 digital rearview mirror that streams a camera feed to resolve this issue. The right side of the dashboard features a recessed shelf, perfect for holding anything from a compass or handheld GPS to a smartphone. Rear seat passengers, my kids and their friends in this case, enjoyed the elevated seating position and the roof-mounted Alpine windows that let in natural light from above. Con. Defender's controls are confusing and poorly backlit. At best, all those hard controls are confusing to use in practice. The temperature control dials serve multiple functions ranging from heated and cooled seat control, my tester didn't have the latter, to the off-road drive modes. It's all layered and controlled by buttons, which then dictate what the knobs do. Push this to use it for that, or click this to have it control that. 
Executing changes is cumbersome and requires thinking. Worse, the sun washes out these controls so the functions each button serves can't really be seen in certain lighting conditions. In the land of $80,000 to $90,000 Ford Broncos and Jeep Wranglers, the Defender doesn't seem unreasonable at $62,275 including a $1,475 destination charge in 110 four-door configuration. At $82,053 as tested thanks to options ranging from the turbo, six and off-road driving modes for $750 to $1,600 for air suspension and adaptive dampers, Defender prices seem almost fair. After my first stint with the 2024 Lexus GX, I said the automaker painted a target on Land Rover. I stand behind that. But after some virtues and hassles revealed themselves with more time behind the wheel of the GX, sliding behind the wheel of a $90,000 plus Jeep Wrangler and Ford Bronco, and then living with the Defender, it's clear the Defender still holds its own in the segment. 2024 Land Rover Defender 110 Review the 2024 Land Rover Defender 110 continues its legacy as an off-road icon while incorporating modern comforts and advanced technology. With its rugged build, capable performance, and luxurious interior, the Defender 110 caters to both adventure enthusiasts and those seeking a premium SUV experience. Exterior Design The 2024 Defender 110 maintains its distinctive boxy silhouette, reminiscent of the classic Defenders yet updated with contemporary design elements. The upright stance, short overhangs, and aggressive wheel arches contribute to its off-road prowess. LED headlights and taillights, along with optional 22-inch alloy wheels, give it a modern touch. The Defender 110's design is both functional and stylish, with features like a spare tire mounted on the rear door and the option for a contrasting roof color. Interior and Comfort Inside, the 2024 Defender 110 offers a blend of luxury and practicality. The cabin is spacious, with high-quality materials and a layout that balances ruggedness with refinement. Leather upholstery, a panoramic sunroof, and heated seats are available, ensuring comfort on long journeys. The infotainment system features a 10-inch touchscreen with PIVI Pro software, providing seamless connectivity, navigation, and entertainment options. The Defender 110 also boasts ample cargo space, with a foldable third row that enhances its versatility, performance, and off-road capability. Under the hood, the 2024 Defender 110 offers multiple engine options, including a 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder, a 3.0-liter inline-six with mild hybrid technology, and a powerful 5.0-liter supercharged V8. These engines are paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive, ensuring robust performance on various terrains. The Defender 110's off-road credentials are further enhanced by features like adjustable air suspension, terrain response 2, 